Hi everyone! This is Joy with Joy's Happy Hobbies. Um, it's Merry Christmas, December month. <laughs> um, I got myself a new pen. I bought myself a Christmas present. And uh, I want to show it to you. So here it is. And it's from Custom Diamond Paintings. Custom Diamond Painting Pens by TJ. Yes, my favorite, uh, my favorite pen turner. And there's the information on the other side. If you want to freeze the film, you can. And I'll have all this information in the description box. Anyway, comes with a nice. He always sends a nice. Uh, um, velour. Velour pen bag with them. And I've already opened it, of course, because I wanted to see it. I wanted to try the glow. It's a glow-in-the-dark and thermal pen. This is it. Isn't this pretty? I love the colors in it. I just love it. Look at, oh, it's just pretty, pretty, pretty. Love his pens. In fact, I've got, like, four other pens of his, too. Anyway, um, yeah. Isn't, I had my fingers in it. You guys probably didn't see it. <laughs> Yeah, where's the camera? There it is. All right. Isn't that pretty? Anyway, so this is uh, among my favorites now. <laughs> um, it also came with a nice stainless steel tip on it. Um, I really don't buy a lot of those, or I don't buy them, but when they come on the pins, I use them. Uh, anyway, what am I trying to say? <laughs> it's just... Help me, honey, help me. I don't have any idea what you're trying to say. <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to do with this beautiful, beautiful pen, and thank you, TJ. You did a wonderful job on it. I just love it. I tried to take a picture of it um, with the glowing in the dark, but I guess we don't have the right kind of camera or something because it, w it was just black. It wouldn't even show a dot of where the pen was glowing. Um, so, unfortunately, you know, that didn't come out. But it also says in the description on the auction that I that it was on that it was a thermal too, three way ther or two way thermal or something. So I imagine if my hands weren't so cold, it would probably turn colors in here somewhere. I'll have to um, test that out. Anyway, what I wanted to do today was um, I chatted with other diamond painters and stuff and. And they say they don't use glue dots. They've never used glue dots. They don't know how, or they've used them and it didn't work because the glue kept coming out of the out of the tip. So I am going to glue dot up this pin for you. I'll show you how I do it. So I've got my glue dots here, right here. And of course they're not in the box anymore. The boxes always get destroyed. Um, but there's the little glue dots on here. I don't know if you can um, can see those. There's one. I don't know. Probably can't see them on here. I don't know what I'm trying to show you for. You're not going to be able to see them. So what I do to start with, um, I grab the paper. Now I'm going to glue this up. And I pick off the glue with the tip. And there you see the tip. Can you see it? The glue is on there. There. See that little bit? Well, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to roll it in my fingers. Roll it in my fingers. It's My fingers are cold, so it's sticking to my finger. It's not rolling. <laughs> God. It's not rolling on my finger. Oh, there we go. There. I got it rolling. Got it unstuck. Okay. So what happened? Oh, there's my pen. <laughs> so. If you could tell, it's kind of like in a little worm worm shape there. Can you see it? Okay, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it into the tip here. Are you watching this, Mike? Yes, so I am. So you can learn? It is so fascinating. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think I need to put my magnifiers on for it. Okay, there. I think I, I, think I got it in there. Not on my pen. <laughs> it's not on my hand anywhere. Did it get in there? I think so. Okay. So it's not on here anywhere. It didn't fall off. Okay. 
So the next step I do is once I got the first one in there, once I got the first one in, I'm going to take another one and I'm going to scoop it off again. There we go. This time I'm just going to take that, you see that? See it on the end there? I'm just going to take that and I'm going to fold it over like so. So I'm going to make it flat against the tip. You probably can't tell. Then there's a little piece hanging off there and I don't like that and I, I've tried to refold it back over but it keeps sticking out and it grabs all the other drills when I'm when I'm uh, trying to pick them up. So um, I use um, regular uh, eyebrow tweezers or makeup tweezers because they're sharp on the end here um, and to grab that piece there and I'm just going to grab it and pull it off and if it doesn't uh, there's a little bit that came off All right. and then I see some more there and I'm just going to pull that off and I'll just pull those little pieces off there yeah there we go all right, now I'll put that over there. Okay, so now it is in there. Um, sometimes you have to work with these a little bit to get them the way you want, but once you get the glue in there the way you want it, it's in there forever. Almost ever. Okay, so I'm going to pull this other painting over here. Let me move all this stuff around here. Okay, and um, I'm doing this. Um, painting. Um, it's by Diamond Painting Bling Art. I got it covered up with the um, washi tape so that I don't stick to it. And it's called Magical Unicorn. It's a 30 by 30 centimeter. Um, it's for gifts. So I really can't say who it's for because they'll know if they're watching. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful painting. It's got the nice um, soft backing. It's scalloped and surged and it's got the legends on both sides but isn't it a darling little unicorn yes and the colors are so bright and shiny um, and then here's a cover minder that I use for it um, a friend of mine Tracy Tiffin uh, made this for me it's a broken heart and it, she's got the other half at home but she put this together for me and then she put some drills on the side to line it see that and then she's got this neat um, backing. It's a magnet, but she's covered it with material so it doesn't scratch your light pad and it's easy to find when you put your hand underneath the painting to move it around. It's easy to find because it's this big piece. And uh, I'll have some information about her in the description box. Good friend of mine. Anyway, I'm going to... Um, I, oh, I've already put the, the drills in the tray that I'm going to use. And of course, this uh, drill is from Nix Notions. It's got her name on the side there. I don't know. If you can, yeah, if I can, t I can't do there. Just barely see it, huh? Just barely see it. Anyway, uh, it's got this nice little plug there that just drops in. So I'm going to show you how these glue dots work. It's very simple once you get in the pin, and there you go. You just stick it down there. And because. I don't have my glasses on. There's another one. And you hear that snap? Can you hear that snap? There's that snap, what we all look for. And that's, whoops, that's how you put blue dots in your pen. Or at least that's how I do it. And they seem, the glue dots seem to stay in my pen forever. And because I have that one little flat piece on the top, which I thought about one day. Um, the other piece that you roll up and put in the tip, it doesn't come out because that flat piece is over it. Now, a lot of people complain that the glue dots stick to the drills, especially like the ABs, and when you put it down, it keeps coming back up with the pen. Well, in that case, what I do is I just take like my sleeve or my pants and I tap it, get a little bit of lint on the end, and, and it's good to go and you don't stick to the drills anymore. The other thing, when it seems like the glue dot is wearing out and it's not sticking anymore, I do take the sharp tweezers that come in those kits and I just pick up the, the glue a little bit, I pull it out, and then I stuff it back in there. 
poke it with the end of the tweezers and it's sticky again and it's good for like another week okay so um, anyway that was what I wanted to show you tonight um, thank you for watching Merry Christmas again uh, let's see what else am I not saying <laughs> if you're new welcome to the channel uh, I want to show you the other thing I want to show you now that I'm thinking about it I wanted to show you all the other pens I got from TJ he's like my favorite pen turner and these are all the, all the other ones I've gotten from him aren't they pretty this one has the bunny rabbit in it I got it around Easter time and the carrots in there there's carrots in there um, he made those out of toothpicks. I mean, he's just created. There was a pen that he had on auction tonight, the Santa Claus pen. And I wanted to get it so bad. It went for $100. <laughs> and I just have bought, I just had gotten this off an auction. So I, I couldn't do it. I wanted to do it. I couldn't. And, and here, this is the first one I ever got. This is my first TJ pen. And I won this by the me please, you know, you say me please, and then they put your name in a, or give you a number or whatever, put your name in a random selector, and then whoever's name pops up, that's who uh, gets to buy the pen. And this one here is a nice sparkly one, and this part is thermal. Like I said, my hands are cold right now, so um, it's not going to turn colors, but when I'm working with it, about half hour after I'm using it, this all turns turquoise in here, and it's so pretty, so pretty. And then it's got the sparkles right here. Okay. Um, this one is, um, I think this was called Botanical Gardens, because it's dried leaves in there. And I don't know if you can see, you can, it's clear see-through in there. Um, and it's got the, the wood. I like the hybrids. That's with the wood in them. So those are all my other pins from him. So now I've got a collection of five TJ pins and you could tell those are my favorite. Um, he makes fantastic and I'll have all his information in the description box and I just wanted to give him a shout out, him and Emily, um, on such wonderful work and like I said I was tempted to buy that Santa Claus pin tonight. <laughs> I, I kept my hands from clicking on that uh, price. So that's it for today. Um, my next videos will be Christmas projects that I'm working on. Um, and that's it. So Wait, wait, wait. What, wait, what wait. the heck is this thing? Oh. What the hell is this? These are, these are my spare drills and I'm doing a project with that. I bought these. Oh, I guess I can show you this other stuff here. I bought these, uh, I saw this on Nick's, uh, YouTube, and I also see TunePocket.com These are balls, and I'm going to pour all my juice and decorations out of them. And that's my next project. My other project I'm working on is, um, I'm still cleaning these, these stockings. Unlimited royalty free music for videos and media projects. Project.
Unlimited royalty-free music for videos and media projects. 